we've heard from TSW patients and seen pictures of what is called what's uh, the term uh, elephant skin. So what's called elephant skin. Um, so can you explain that to us and why does elephant yeah. skin occur? So we first have to make a differentiation to elephant skin that happens temporarily on the skin and that a lot of people with TSW experience and a chronic type of elephant skin mm. and hardened skin. Now, elephant skin is the term that is used for skin that has an excess of skin in combination with a hard top layer. So it can be different on different parts of the body. On some parts of the body, you can see really a thick layer of hardened skin on top. On other parts of the body, it looks more like leathery skin, especially on the face, it looks more like leathery skin. Now, a lot of people experience this temporarily and it goes away by itself. But there are people that are doing mm -hmm. things to the skin during their process of topical steroid withdrawal and they develop a chronic type of hardened skin or elephant skin. And if the thing that happens to the mm -hmm. skin is not stopped, then this will stay chronic and it cannot be reversed 100%. So by science of observation, Jay has found out which mechanism and processes work behind the development of this chronic type of hardened skin and elephant skin. And there are three mechanisms that can cause this. It can be prolonged excessive scratching on the skin. Now, if you have normal healthy skin and you scratch it prolongedly again and again and again, then also in normal healthy skin, you will get a, a complication on the skin. The skin starts reacting with a protection mechanism to the scratching and it forms a hard layer on top of the skin. So this is a layer of keratin of dead skin cells in the case of topical steroid withdrawal. If the scratching cycle is not stopped, the hardened skin also can't heal. A second reason is prolonged irritant exposure. This oftentimes goes in combination with scratching. Because if you have irritant exposure, you also have a reaction of the immune system and histamine release. Prolonged irritant exposure, often in combination with scratching, also can cause hardened skin and elephant skin chronically. The third reason is completely unknown in the community. If you use moisturizers on open or broken skin, so skin like TSW that is very impaired, if you use moisturizers on them, then you can, that this can cause the chronic type of elephant skin and hardened skin. So these moisturizers, they were never made to be used on broken skin. They were made to be used on a healthy skin, maybe with some dryness, maybe with some wrinkles, anything like that. But TSW skin in most cases is very open and impaired and thinned. If you put moisturizers on this skin, the molecules of the moisturizers go too deeply in the skin and the skin reacts with a protection mechanism. So it pushes out the molecules of the yeah. moisturizer, creating an excess of skin. And at the same time, it starts protecting itself by making a thicker layer on top of the skin. So these people, they can have it sometimes, I've seen photos from people who have it top to toe because they've been using very heavy moisturizers for, for, for a prolonged period of time, sometimes for months and months and years, sometimes six times a day to try to heal the skin. But actually, they're causing a chronic condition by doing, by doing this. Yeah, Got it. and it's difficult because yeah. the skin layer gets so thick and it's not flexible. It's not like callus, like on your hand and feet, which is flexible. It's not flexible. So when you move, yeah. it cracks. So what, what do people do? They think, oh, crack, more moisturizer. 
and the cracks are deep so the again the molecules yeah. of the moisturizer go too deep in the skin and so this is a vicious cycle but stopping with the moisturizer is also yeah. difficult because the cracks are very painful so to reverse the process is not yeah. easy you can reverse it much faster by getting cap treatment but otherwise it goes really really slow yeah so um, this information about the chronic type of hardened skin and elephant skin is not known to the community is new information so it will take time for people to learn and understand um, I made on the YouTube channel yeah. all drawings with the skin layers and how it actually works. So if so somebody would like to know more about how it precisely works, the mechanism, then they can go to the YouTube channel and watch the videos.